सो हे गाइज आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल सो टूडेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर बी एस सी और एम एस सी केमिस्ट्री परसुइंग और पास आउट स्टूडेंट्स एज आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द यू पी एस सी जियो केमिस्ट एग्जामिनेशन सो दिस इज द हाइएस्ट पेइंग जॉब ऑफ दिस सेक्टर सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस जॉब इन डिटेल सो दिस इज द वेबसाइट ऑफ दिस एग्जामिनेशन सम डेट्स आर गिवेन सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर जॉब अपडेट सो लेट स्टार्ट so this is the notification of this job update so you can apply to this job through this particular website i will be giving the link in the description box and for applying to this you have to fill the otr that is one time registration so i will be making a specific video for form filling later on but i'm telling you this because this has been recently started by upsc that you have to fill the forms through one time registration so if you are making the otr be very sure that you fill it right because otr has to be registered only once in lifetime and you can only modify it once because once you fill it then your in, your information should be right it should not be wrong information because modifications will be only given one once chance so you will not be able to modify it later on so modification in application form will be starting from 11th to 17th so till 10th of october you will be allowed to fill this data and fill this application form and from 11th to 17th you can modify the application form but not the otr profile so make sure you fill the otr very carefully because you will not be able to change it later and there is only one chance of changing it and that too before 17th so don't be in hurry while filling the otr so the next detail is about the photo id that is aadhar card or voter card you should ha be having any one of this photo uh, photo id that is aadhar card or voter id or pan card or driving license or any other photo id card issued by state or central go government so you should have the photo id during the form filling process and also during the examination so you should you have to carry this if you choose aadhar card if you fill the details of aadhar card in your application form you should you should be carrying the aadhar card in the exam center also so the last date of sub sub submission of application is 10th of october so make sure you fill the application form before 10th of october and that to before 6 pm and for filling the form the website is same upsc online.nic.in and Bef uh, before the examination before the 3 weeks of examination the admit card will be issued to you this is uh, this is being stated here the eligible candidates will be issued e admission certificate 3 weeks before the commencement of examination so the next important point is the negative marking will be there in this examination so if if you are if you are marking any incorrect answers so 1/3 will be considered as negative so make sure if you know the answers then only you tick mark the answers and the examination will be conducted in three stages so first is preliminary exam second one is mains exam and third is the interview examination so we will discuss that in separate video so in this we will only be discussing the major points so the preliminary the prelims exam will be conducted in the 18th february 2024 so this is the date of prelims examination and this will be held at ahmedabad bengaluru bhopal chandigarh so these are the places or exam center that uh, in which the exam is going to be conducted and so there are separate centers for the preliminary examinations and the main mains examination the mains examination will be conducted later that is on 22nd july 2024 and the preliminary examination will be conducted on 18th of february so the cities that are allotted for mains examination are bhopal chennai delhi dispur hyderabad kolkata lucknow mumbai shimla so these are the cities for mains examination will be which will be conducted on 22nd june so if you qualify qualify the prelim prelims examination then you will be 
sitting in main, mains examination and that will be conducted in these centers so we are since we are focusing on the chemistry part so for chemist chemist there are 13 vacancies and for scientist b there are two vacancies so in total there are 15 vacancies for chemistry student 15 for chemistry last year these vacancies were 19 so this year the vacancies had have been reduced and the next detail is about the age the age limit the age limit the candidate must have attained the age of 21 years and must not have attained the age of 32 years that is he or she must have been born not earlier than 2nd January 1992 and not later than 1st January 2003 so make sure you have the perfect age for applying in this examination so you should be at least 21 years and not more than 31 years 32 is not you should not have attained the age of 32 so till 31 you can apply so the upper age limit will be relaxable up to maximum 7 years in case of government servants so I'm not going to read the entire details I will be giving this in notification this notification in the description box you you can read the entire details so candidates should note that only the date of birth as recorded in the matriculation or higher secondary exam certificate so your age should be considered according to the higher secondary examination certificate this ha this has been stated here and the next important detail is so this is the eligibility criteria that is you should have MSc in chemistry or applied chemistry or analytical chemistry and these are the uh, for physical standards so candidates must be physically fit according to physical standards for admission to the examination as per regulations given in appendix 2 so these are some of the physical standards that have been set for the candidates so you can read all this uh, in the notification itself it is there in appendix 2 and the fee of this uh, examination is 200 rupees except for female SCST or persons with benchmark dis disability so candidates are exempted these candidates are exempted from the fee they, those, those candidates who are female candidates or belong to scheduled castes, scheduled tribes are not required to pay any fee however OBC or EWS candidates they are required to prescribe full fee so if you are female candidate and candidate belonging to scheduled caste or scheduled tribe or so you don't have to pay any fee but OBC, EWS or general category candidates have to pay a fee of 200 rupees so modification in OTR profile so in case the candidate wants to effect any change in his or her OTR profile it shall be allowed only once in lifetime after the registration at OTR platform the change in OTR profile data shall be available till expiry of 7 days from the next day from the closure of application window of his or her final application for any examination of the commission in the in case the candidate after registration of the OTR applies for first time in this examination the last date of modification of OTR would be 17th so the uh, OTR profile can be modified only once it is stating that and that to have to do before 17 October 2023 so make sure you fill the OTR profile very carefully and you don't make mistakes while filling the OTR and the application form if you want to modify or make corrections in your application form so that is allowed from 11th to 17th the candidates will not be allowed to either withdraw their applications after the submission of the same so if you want to withdraw your application form that you want your feedback or you want to withdraw, withdraw your application so that is not allowed the candidates applying for the examination should ensure that they fulfill all the eligibility conditions for the admission to examination so make sure you are eligible to this examination you have done MSc you have uh, you are, have passed out the examination and you can read the entire notification if you want 
the more details about eligibility so candidates are requested to keep the scanned copies of the following documents for submission to the commission along with daf so after you qualify this examination so you have to keep the certificate of age certificate of educational qualification certificate in support of claim that you belong to uh, as a scheduled caste scheduled tribe economically weaker sections so you should have these certificates after you qualify the examination so these will be verified before giving you the job so this is all about uh, how you after you qualify so the last date of submission of applications is before 10th of october that to before 6 pm so this was all about the eligibility age and the date of examination so this is the plan of examination so there are there are two subjects that is general studies and the chemistry the paper 1 consists of general studies and this is the preliminary examination so general studies consists of 2 hours and that two of 100 marks and paper 2 consists of chemistry 2 hours and 300 marks so total marks are 400 and there will be penalty negative marking for wrong answers marked by the candidate in the objective type question papers there are four al four alternatives for the answers to every question for each question for which a wrong answer has been given by candidate one third of the marks assigned to that question will be deducted as penalty so make sure you don't do negative marking because one third will be deducted as penalty marking so this was about the preliminary examination now we will be discussing about the mains examination so this is about mains examination that is of 600 marks so there are, there are three papers for mains examination and now we will be discussing about the syllabus of the examination so this is the syllabus of the examination for preliminary exam so i will be discussing this that how you can prepare for prelim preliminary examinations or mains examination is in a separate video so i'm only showing you the syllabus of this examination now so this is the mains examination syllabus so i will be giving you this notification in the description box and make sure you follow this channel i will be discussing about the entire syllabus in detail how can you prepare this examination and how can you uh, what what is the basic what are the basic questions that have been asked previously i will be giving the previous year question papers so for that you can follow this channel and also share this video with your friends thank you